Welcome everybody. In this video, we're just gonna feature, gonna kind of show you what we've gathered and purchased all year. This is kind of like a, what do you call it? Like your greatest hits? Or yeah, like a recap video. Like kind a of recap thing. video, but there's some amazing stuff. So if you haven't seen more than one or two of my videos, you can pick up, uh, you know, a little minute segment of like five or six or 10 of the things that we've purchased. And a lot of really good stuff this year. I'm here in my warehouse. Uh, I, we just recently did a video on some, um, you know, rattan bone mm -hmm. furniture that I got. And uh, I'm set up for a sale here coming up Friday. So, so uh, stay with us and, uh, you know, see what we have. Uh, I think first up, is gonna be this estate sale that we purchased at the beginning of the year. I bought the entire content, contents of a, of a two, two and a half acre ranch. So I think that's first up. So we're outside in the uh, backyard area uh, by the pool. And I mean, yard art for days. Uh, look on the wall over there, the sun. Cool. Yeah, the big uh, windmill, all the metal yard art. These are really good. I sell the crap out of turtles. I like turtles. That's probably 50 bucks all day long. That's an older one and it's a plant stand. Um, lots and lots of yard art, statues, turtles, uh, gnomes, and it goes all the way around the house. Stands. I love this uh, <clears throat> blacksmith and jail building that dad built for the family. Look at that. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's cool. It's freaking awesome. This was in the back of the yard uh, by the pool. Isn't that fun? That's like the ultimate. Wow. Playhouse. Playhouse for kids, huh? <clears throat> Bunch of stuff inside, too. <clears throat> we'll have to go through this. Yeah, stay did... tuned. We'll dig through this. Yeah. They did some planes. There's a lot of trash in here, but there's a lot of gold in here too. There's some more wind chimes. This is good. Pull that off. Old washing machines. This is a massive building. Massive building. You could live, yeah, this is like a guest house size. Yeah, look at the jail. This is the coolest. Got the, got the bars and the sheriff's office and the jail. Isn't that cool? Those, uh, those little signs in the back I'll pull those off the wall little 10 20 dollar signs so looky 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 what we found in one of the closets vintage Legos tons and tons, tons, and tons. complete sets from the 80s mid 80s some early 90s some things still in the box some things new an outstanding score. Uh, this control panel. Part of the Technics from the 90s set. I think it was like 200 and something for the whole set. Yeah. That piece was going for like 100 bucks. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There's some sealed, new tracks. Going for like 40, 50 bucks to seal. And so we have tons of tracks. Tons, tons. I mean, this guy had a Lego city around a train set, shipyard. <clears throat> electric erector set stuff I mean this is so when you treasure hunt like we do and you buy uh, you know uh, estates and you buy storages and you buy pods and liquidation you find all kinds of treasures and uh, we bought a pod that belonged to an attorney and there was a lot of good stuff in there and uh, especially one particular amazing piece and so take a look at this so I've told you that I buy uh, pallets and I buy storage auctions and I buy government liquidations and I do estate sales and I do yard sales. I do everything. Well, I bought a pod for you. So I bought a really large pod with had, had a lot of boxes and, uh, and something in it that caught my eye. And uh, this is a treat because I don't do a lot of pods and pods can be expensive. But uh, this is exactly how I bought it. I have not even been through it yet. I will always show you. <laughs> show you the real the real thing the truth and this is exactly the first time i'm opening this up i just cut the tag here we go i should take a slow pan of that go 
boxes all so the way back. boxes boxes and boxes we love boxes so here's why I bought this room folks because you're looking for something an oddity this when they took a picture of this this was on the ground actually so they must have put it up here to cl close the door so this is a tennis racket racket stringer and it actually has a tennis racket on it it's like they were halfway through it yeah. so I know the brand I actually played a little tennis but not real competitive or anything but here's the deal folks who plays tennis to where you need a stringer you're either somebody that works in the business or a pro shop or you're a kid that's competing and you're popping strings and you got to this is a lower model this one sells new for around 399 and used about 150 200 bucks but I looked up this uh, Wilson blade these are anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks now this one's probably used because of this but it's probably a 75 dollar racket and so you're looking at 200 bucks right here but more importantly they have this what else are they going to have right are they country club people are they tennis club people or is it a spoiled kid that was just playing uh for the high school team that parents bought him a stringer you you got to learn how to do that i had a Read friend a that worked game. in one of these clubs and he was a stringer so i know so this is why I bought the room. It gives you a little insight on what might be in there. This yeah. is a box and shoes, and here's a box. What do we got here? Charles Thwart. Th Thwart. <laughs> Fancy shoes. You can't say the name. It's probably expensive. Oh yeah, those are his dress. Nice. <laughs> Made in England. Made in England. Hundred dollars all day long. Wow, those are. I'll look Fancy those up. Shoes. If they're not a hundred, I promise you they're sixty-five, seventy-five. I would, I would imagine they're expensive. Yeah. Because these are brand new. A box. That hasn't been opened. A new box. They're shoes, folks. But look at that. I bet you this is brand new. Wait, what? I'm just goofing. New boot goofing. Oh. No, nah, more the same. Let's see what he paid for them. What do we think he paid for these? Holy shit! We thought 100 max, 60 good. Take a guess. Oh, God. A couple hundred. I feel like it's a few hundred dollars just because it's... Give me a number. Let's say 300 bucks. 305. Holy shit, it's plus. 305. So how I make money doing this job... As I figure half price for everything. That's about or, right, what you said. So 150, so 100, so I mean, let's just call them a hundred dollar bill, but I mean, it's probably more. And these are brand new, I still have the box. This was so cool, I had to take a double look, a uh, second was look, wild. A triple look. And so this is a very large, what do you call that? Maybe like almost three feet? Yeah, that's really big. So this is um, a beautiful, uh, like it's made out of bronze and copper. Mm -hmm. Dear God, it's beautiful. Um, this beautiful sun. Um, it's actually pretty light. This is actually from a famous artist. And so, George, pop up his name mm -hmm. if you can find him, and pop up some of the things that he's made and sold. His name is uh, Sergio Bustamante, Mexican artist. I think he died in 2014. Mm -hmm. And this has a signature right here. I don't know if you can see it. Etched in there, Sergio Bustamante. Oh yeah, AP. AP. Now AP means artist proof. Okay. In the art world, um, it could mean it was a limited run. They only made a few or four of them, three or four of them. It could mean that this is the only one. Oh. Okay. And I believe this may be the only one. And usually the artist proofs, you know, they're designing a new a new concept, a new piece, and they keep it. Oh, okay. uh, because yeah. he died in 2014, I have a feeling that the lawyer that I purchased this this estate from um, picked this up in either an estate sale or he knew the artist or, or somehow somewhere. or another got it after the guy passed. He knew a lot of so people. So this may be a one of a kind. Uh, pieces like this, I found one on eBay that was a numbered piece, 14 of 100, mm -hmm. and it sold, uh, when you include the shipping, uh, $1,868. Wow. I have found them in galleries that have sold for $3,200. You can see the same kind of idea. Yeah, he did. Some. He did a lot of these. He lot of, did a lot of different stuff, but he did all, a lot of these sun and these sunbursts. Um, 
This is the most pleasant face I've ever seen. Uh, most of them, I think, are kind of ugly. But I, uh, I'm on the fence of keeping this. It's so, it's so absolutely cool. Everybody loves gold and jewelry, um, money. But, uh, you know, we find it in, in segments. Sometimes Small it's a little yeah. bit, sometimes it's a lot. But I showed a video of what I've accumulated in gold over the course of the year. So here's a little uh, a sample of uh, the gold that I've got. So take a look at this. So just a little bit of gold I've been saving, the rings. And this chain is real. I, I, everything's been acid tested. Now that baby's heavy too. You can hear it, yeah. That baby's heavy. Look at that. This is, I have my scale set to grams. That's almost, yeah, it's 58 grams, mm -hmm. close to 60 grams just for that alone. All of this is real deal. So I weighed this all together here a minute ago, and it comes out to about, give or take, 180 grams. And today's spot price for 14 carat is 34.20. It's gone up. That's insane. Uh, so I'm averaging this out at 14 carat because some of it's 10, but I have some 18 carat in here uh, and some heavy pieces 18 carat. So uh, that comes out to like $6,200. Oh my sweet Jesus. That's rad. That's cool ring. Yeah, that's cool. So this was a like an actual medical ring um, from uh, of a doctor in another country. And uh, that's... Guadalajara. Yeah, that one's 10 carat. This is solid. Now, just scrap alone, that's worth like $700. But the thing is, is because of what it is, it, I could probably sell it for more. You know, maybe $800, $1,000. This ring was the very th first thing that I pulled out of this one storage. I opened up a drawer, uh, and the first thing I seen was this. And that's 18 carat. Oh, 19 point. Yeah, and that one's worth about seven hundred fifty dollars. Um, the weight that we looked up, the price that we looked up a minute ago uh -huh. on this, just that was on fourteen carat. This is eighteen carat. That's why it's worth more. I remember now. So no, this one's like seven fifty. That's a solid one. Yeah, it's like seven fifty eight hundred dollar ring. So just those two rings right there, you know, you're looking at fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, and then so how many? That's forty two grams. <laughs> And this this is heavier than both of them. This is why. Uh, so this is over yeah. three grand right here. This is what you see us going through every drawer, all those things just in case. So when you treasure hunt like we do, you find all kinds of strange things. And in this one storage room I bought, uh, it was a lady that turned into a witch. So um, you know, I don't think she was real hardcore. But <laughs> stay tuned. Check this out. Put them here with our Wiccan books. Look Tell them that. about that. We found another gigantic box of friggin' Wiccan books. Look, whole sets of them. These are like twenty, thirty dollars a pop, and there's just boxes and boxes. boxes. Yeah, and it's beautiful. easy to ship. Easy to ship. Media mail, baby. Yeah, check this out. Okay, there's more of them. Dorothy Moore, like collections, which is what we like. Boutique. Boutique publishers charge a lot more for their books than, yeah, this is not the stuff you find at like Barnes and Noble. So folks, if you're eBayers, these are gold. Yeah. These... Especially like you found uh, like Satan's. Yeah, Satan's Bible, like Bible, Satan, like, Satanic like, yeah, stuff. A... The yeah, Witch's folks... Bible right here. Yeah. Look at this thing. Like in good shape, this stuff is gold. Um. I got stories to share you about my life. I, you know, I'm a believer. I've seen some shit in my days, and I believe in God or higher source. So I'm not really trying to promote Satan or whatever else. But you know what? There are people out there that do, and they buy it. And uh, sometimes uh, you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, I figured God wanted me to find it, so you Gotta know, do something with it. So yeah, I mean, look at all this stuff. I mean, if half of these books, and this is just one box, we probably found. I don't say an easy. 70 bucks yeah there's all i mean a if lot half of the books are sellable let's call it 35 40 bucks and they're going to go for 10 to 20 dollars i mean it's at least two to five hundred dollars in mm -hmm. these books and and uh i've sold this stuff before that bible is going to go fast bundle a couple of them together and those witchcraft people will yeah this is uh, absolutely this jump is on probably it probably a minimum of 500 dollars in books this will go to the midwest people that don't have this kind of bookstore near <laughs> pretty much <laughs> so there's good. so much there's some of the more 
crazy spells and stuff that these people did. Like try to curse others. It's you, the stuff in here. They took courses and... Like this is some serious witchcraft stuff. <laughs> That's okay. Look at these things. These are all just hand printed, but the amount of them... Cast Circle, Call Quarters, Dark Moon, November 2003. Mighty Hectate, I call on you. <laughs> this night of the dark of the moon to help me let go of the past. There's some. Their spells didn't work to keep their stuff, but... <laughs> yeah, look at this. That's funny. Their spell didn't work to keep their stuff. But the big purchase of the year was this massive 50-year uh, Elvis Presley collection along with die cast. And it's the largest thing I ever bought. And uh, if you followed our site, we've been shooting videos all year. Mm -hmm. And I still have more of it. But uh, here's some of the highlights. Take a look. So here we are at this amazing Elvis collection. Uh, it's the largest collection I've ever had. It's crazy. Uh, it's Dottie's Elvis collection. Dottie was Dottie Jones. Um, she started collecting all the way back uh, a little bit when she was a teenager from the 50s, 60s, all the way up to today, and that's 60 years almost. So uh, we'll start here. I love this mid-century cabinet. Yeah. Super good piece just by itself. And you can see just in here is just a plethora of smalls. I mean, figures and plates and pictures. There's a one here, kind of a cowboy western one up there. Oh, yeah. Plates. And, of course, you've got the world-famous, uh, you know, pink cookie jar. That's a pink Cadillac <laughs> cookie, cookie jar down there. It's a big one. Super cool. And then you've got some new stuff back here. You've got some busts. and. Oh, yeah. That's like This display one. case is real interesting. There's a lot of smalls in here and some really good high-end uh, high uh, items. Look at this footstool. Super cool. Different ones. A couple different sizes. Um, let me set this here. I've seen this online. It sells for about 60 bucks. The van. Such a cool little van. That kind of, like, so 70s. It kind of looks like, a, like the, you know, the... Um, Scooby-Doo van or something. Yeah. Isn't that cool? This light like, baby Elvis! Right there. I dig it. I can't, I haven't found it online yet, but it's kind of cool. And the little Elvis troll. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Dig that. Figure. And these figures. Now, these figures, a lot of them are common, you know, in the $10, $20, $30, but the bigger ones are more. And, uh, you know, he's just tons of them. The big ones. What is this right here? That's just an old man as Elvis. Old man Elvis? Still a legend in his own mind. Mm -hmm. We got ourselves like a little two and a half foot Elvis man. Wow. He's, he's probably made out of resin or something. Pretty cool. There's another t-shirt. And boxes of smalls. God, it just goes on and on and on. I'm an Elvis fan, yeah. <laughs> King of Rock. Game, that. board game, look at that. I love that. I've never seen that board game, that's great. Pins, yeah. There's gonna be thousands of pins, folks. Pins are gonna be cool. And like these over here. So. Oh yeah, the big button pins. Button pins, some are dime a dozen. You know, dollar uh, fifty nine, two dollars, two dollars. But I found some for forty nine, sixty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. So this is just a uh, a job of attrition here. So if she's gonna have hundreds of these around, there's gonna be a handful of them. We're going with fifty or hundred bucks. Yeah. And you know, along with that Elvis, uh, the Presley collection that I mentioned earlier in this video, we bought that huge die cast that belonged to the husband. And oh my God, this stuff was off the hook. Cranes. Uh, tractors, uh, you know, John Deere, even Everything. these cute little, uh, you know, uh, movable John Deere tractors. <laughs> it was fun. So take a look at all this stuff. Here's one wall. Why don't you just get a slope focus on these? Okay, it goes all the way to the ceiling. You can see the line. And then we come down. Dale made custom uh, shelves to post everything all the way around the bedroom. That's like my dream for my Hot Wheels and stuff. Having it is. custom shelves. Look at this. Just pause a second. Look it up here. Just give it a fixate at the top up here. Just hold on these. Oh, these are Coca Cola. Wow, look at this. McDonald's Coke from just years and years and years. And then we get over into the cranes. 
hold on the cranes a little bit. And some of these are German folks, and you know what that means. Big money. These are big money. Big toys. Now, there's a lot of uh, average stuff here and a lot of, you know, um, inexpensive stuff and matchbox, but then there's a lot of 20 dollars $30, $50 cars down here. These all these semis. Let me reach down here while you got that. These are freaking cool and heavy. International. Those are big metal ones. Beautiful. Got some dust on them. Just a little dust. Been here a while. <laughs> so, like, construction. Oh, there's a little dude inside there. This is cool. You know, uh, that one is is a heavy plastic, and that's made in China. But that's a good entry level ten dollar toy. You know, that's tall. Some of these are China. Some of them are. Older. They're all over the place, eh? And there's another one of these. Wow. Made in Spain. Excavator. Yeah, isn't that cool? Wow. Got the little bucket and everything. Got the bucket. Yeah, John Deere stuff's just cool. I don't know what happened to that one. I don't know what I did with it. Yep, there it is. This is a different one. That's really neat. I just like them. I do too. And it's got a hitch on there, so you can add something to the back. Yeah, let's put something on it. We can yeah, try. we'll find one of the trailers or something one of these days. So there we go. That's, uh, that's a video one. of just a box and a half of some die cast we're still working on, and I'm going to have it out available at my next sale. And Coming then up? some of it will end up going online in probably lots. Lots of two or three or four. Yeah. <laughs> that never stops being fun. That front one's fast. Look at them. Oh. <laughs> If you follow the site, you know that uh, we we get uh, records all the time in storages, and I, I sell records, uh, you know, on the side at uh, Antique Mall and once in a while online. I just picked up a couple of these cool ones, by the way. Check that out, Sublime. I got this unusual uh, opportunity to buy lights and DJ stuff, and they were all loose, but those are super cool. Sublime. Those are going to be super collectible. And then this corn set. That. The colored 45. wax and the 45s, and this actually opens up into a post. Oh, what a weird collector. That's cool. Isn't that cool? What an interesting. Oh, wow. wow. Super cool. That's, That's a neat way to package them. Yeah, it's worth about 15, 20 bucks. But anyway, over the course of the year, we've got all kinds of uh, records, including uh, my second uh, Beatles Butcher cover. So stay tuned and, and watch some clips on uh, the records we got. Boston. God bless. This thing just keeps paying off more. Yes. Oh my God. Man, it just never stops, does it? No. Oh. oh. God, I'm loving it. Nether Grease. Nether Grease. Nether Kiss. Nether Kiss. He's going to have all four of the singles. Yeah. Or the, 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 uh, the uh, individual ones. Guess who? Those will sell us a lot. What's that? This is Santana, I think. Yep. Wow. Aerosmith. Alice Cooper. Alice. Jesus. Another D.O. Oh my God, this just can't get any better. People are just losing it right now seeing all this. This you're, is a score. So like, yeah, Camel 77. I bet you're really losing it right now, aren't you? Wow. Yeah, Santana. I haven't seen so many good records in one lot. Usually there's a, like a handful. Not clean. Yeah, not clean. Not, the, some of the covers are toast, but the records are great. Wow. I don't get it. What is this? Jethro Toll? What is this? That's strange, strange. It's a cool cover, though. Somebody will know that. When do you guys recognize that? Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, my Another God. Another one. Another one. Maybe this was from our old record store. EGs. Kiss the flag. Two. Now I have one and two. One and two, yeah. You put that online if I wanted to. 
That's the uh, 80s. Yeah, Paul Young. Oh my god. Let's see what else we got. There's the third one. He's going to have all four. Iron Dude, Maiden. That's a freaking. That's a. Uh, this is. That's killer. This is Stones. There's when I have that that new one, that cover at home, Monkeys. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I gotta look at the other side. Holy crap, you just can't stop looking because they keep no. coming up good. Because they're clean. Yeah. <sighs> oh, what do we got here? Oh, that's not bad for what it is. Oh, that's ACDC. Dirty Deeds. And that one's really clean. Ooh. Okay. It's turned around, it's gonna be clean. I'll get 20 bucks for that. Oh, record downtown. people are gonna lose it. Oof. Best of Double sure. platinum kiss. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> yeah, I'm the bleep We're gonna have to bleep all that. <laughs> but anyway, so this is yesterday and today from 1966. Okay. So the story goes, this is a second state. They call it the first state would have been what they call the butcher cover, where mm -hmm. they're they're in the smock. Some of you may may know, most of you probably don't. Search it, search the butcher cover. They're wearing smocks. They're holding up these these baby dolls, and they're all blood and guts. Mm -hmm. They released that uh, cover uh, in 1966 for about two hours uh, in all the Sears nationwide really? and back in the day you know Beatles were selling records as soon as they they hit the store oh, yeah, people were waiting in line so they sold hundreds of thousands of copies of that and the executives for some reason I don't know why they let it go in the first place but they said what the hell are we doing here that's a, our that's squeak, a lot for now even, our yeah. squeaky clean you know meal ticket we have them like butchering babies pull those <laughs> Bring them back, you know, and then instead of destroying millions of records, they recovered them, which oh, is now okay. what is known as the trunk cover, and because they're sitting around a trunk. Now, almost everyone you find nowadays nowadays is going to be a reissue, you know. After '66, this is how they reissued. Uh, this is how they printed yesterday Damn. and today. But if you can find an original that's been recovered, it's called a second state. So how do you know? Yeah. So go and Google, uh, you know, the, the butcher cover. And they're wearing very obvious white butcher smocks with very dark shirts. So they're mostly here in the middle, and it's been recovered over. But on the end here was Ringo. And Ringo's black shirt bleeds through this. Oh. So you don't see anything if yeah, you didn't know. But once I show you the trick, you'll be able to see it because it's plain as day. Yeah, yeah it's right, right there. Do you yeah, see it? Is, up on is the it coming up on your camera right? You want me, is the angle? It's yeah, right. you can kind of, yeah, coming in faint. There it is. Yeah. See right it? there, that line. Right it's there. a V. Weird. Is it better there? Yeah, now I can't. Now I can't not see it. Now you cannot see it. Even from back it. here. So what that is is that's Beatles shirt. I mean, that's Ringo's shirt bleeding through. Oh. So this is a recovered original, and look at the condition of this. Look nice. This is one of the cleanest ones. I well, I I've had this record in reissue like ten times, but this is the second second state I found in four years. But this is the funnest one to find because people know about the butcher cover. They know about this, and they know about the trick. And as soon as you pick it up, you'll know. And, uh, you know, you could be at a yard sale or in a thrift store, or a guy could be on the side of the street selling some records, and you start thumbing through it, and you pick it up, and as soon as you see that little shadow, you just got money. And then we had toys. Uh, I've been uh, accumulating toys all year, but we had this amazing storage room that I think only paid about 250 for it or yeah. something. And boy, the toys inside were, were epic. So stay tuned. Take a look at that. GameCube. GameCube. Nintendo 64 camera style. Woo. Look at all the games. Score. Oh my god. Dear God. It's beautiful. Oh my god. There's Zelda. That's like a $40. Yoshi's like $60. Zelda. Yeah, there's Rayman 2. There's hundreds of dollars in there. The GameCube on its up. Yeah, there's. Just that alone's fun, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, wait till we get into the toys, folks. Wow. Extra large boxes. Yeah. Uh, 
another smuggler's bounty. Wonder, whoa, that's May, yeah. Invisible Jet Custom, that's great. Is that a good 70s, one? 70s, 80s one. Holy shit, that actually might be worth a lot. That's the Ronin, oh, that might be worth quite a bit. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a big one. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty damn cool. Wow, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Exclusive mug, Joker mug. Yeah, look at that little five one so true. Another yeah, big box. Disney Treasures box. I got one Disney over there already. Oh, wow. it's cool. got everything in it. Oh wow. Pirates of the Caribbean ride. <laughs> That's cute. Peter Pan stuff. Yeah, that whole set. Oh, wow. That's the ride car. That's cool. That's probably, that whole set is probably worth something. So, so far, this is just a quick couple of boxes of toys right in front. I actually bought this room because I've seen some AC units in it, too. Oh, and in this town, those will go. So this was a score. So there's, I haven't looked them all up. There's roughly 40 in here. Still, Tank and Street Fighter, look at that. Different ones. And then we just threw some up here to show you. The box holes on that. Assorted ones, yeah. These little ones are going for 15, 20 bucks. That's crazy. I have like three or four of them at least. So, here's some of the ones we've thrown up in each one of these uh, bounty boxes. Of, they're all in there complete. Yeah, yeah, they're in there complete. You know, some of them are going for 75 bucks, 100 bucks. Uh, you know, multiple toys in there, three or four. Good toys. This is cool. Look at that. We like this one. We like this one. We like this Japanese toy. Look at that, the way it's done. It's all red sparkle. That's cool. So that's a quick look at some of the uh, some of the cream, some of the good stuff that we bought over the year. I mean, there was so much. There's so many things. Oh yeah, go back and look. Feature it all. We really do appreciate your time. Um, the world's hectic right now. We know how valuable your time is and you could watch anything. And the fact that you take the time to watch us means everything to us. Um, we're always trying to tell you the truth, bring you the good stuff and uh, you know, find more. So stay, stay tuned for the next year. Um, we're gonna keep on doing what we do. See ya. See you guys.